So yes, I installed Ubuntu, but please don't let me be misunderstood. I seek for destruction and chaos. So as I was looking for weaknesses I could later take advantage of, I discovered one very strange thing. That's an Ubuntu 2110 minimal installation, and those are all our apps. And we have one more on the second page, perhaps for letting us know about shell paging. But even if we have so few apps pre-installed, we have this? What is it? And what's its purpose? Let's investigate! So basically it seems like a very ancient program that allow us to add executables to our startup session. So perhaps we can press add, and then we have a browse option? What the hell? Good luck with that! But then I was started wondering! How we make startups in GNOME? Don't we have this capability from inside settings? Poof, it seems not. Which is a very crazy fact. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Ouch. But as I was saying, it is almost insane when GNOME is missing such thing, but baby GNOME having it? And it seems quite discoverable and easy to use. We simply add our stuff and we even have this list, and those will begin together with our session. So next I searched for an issue on settings app, and it was one open just two days ago. Which was super surprising. Nobody asked for that before? On the bright side, a developer is willing to work on that feature, although the design is missing at the moment. But what basically says, is that on applications panel, the run on background option should also launch the apps on startup. Or maybe it can be one more option just for startup, which by the way I think it is a new introduced portal. And when on upstream we're missing the very basics? System76 is paying developers to work on downstream, on things that are dead on arrival, because they can never be aligned with GNOME design, and it will be extremely hard to maintain them in a long run. Which bring us to the question. Why smart people do stupid things? <laughs>